Glad Brother Gillis came and his precious family. They're part of us. They can come here anytime. They can obey the Holy Ghost anytime. They can worship God anytime. And let's just get ready for a great week. Tell somebody about the bilingual service on Tuesday night. And it's an important time. It's a great moving of God. And Wednesday night, I don't know if we could rouse up neighbors and bring them or not, but let's work on it. Let's work on it. Brother Gillis, you know, Saturday night a week ago, I believe in exercising faith in action. And um, are you hearing me okay? I don't know. Yes, my voice is not, I can't tell what it's carrying or not. But it, it is, all right. But I had the brethren go out and get these chairs. Now this auditorium is not packed with our congregation out here because it seats a lot of people. But I believe God is going to send people. Amen. Because I believe the United States of America is going to be brought to its knees. And they're going to turn to God. I believe it. I'm not worried about the economy. A Christian should not worry about the economy. A child of God should not worry yourself about God taking care of you. He will do it. Praise God. He will do it. But I am seeing this nation brought to judgment. It's my nation. I'm proud of the red, white, and blue. I love America. But God is going to bring America to a place of repentance and prayer. And I said, the, I had to go get these chairs. And I said, sit them out here. Because I can hear people coming. And if I want to, you know, you can talk about God, but you better manifest God. Because God is to be manifested. These chairs, people will be occupying, will be sitting in them. Because there's hunger. I want to welcome Denise here. She holds your hand up over there, child. Hold your hand up right there. She, she's a battered uh, person. Sister, I apologize to Sister Gail. I'm the world's worst on getting announcements in my hands. But I'll do this again Wednesday night and the weekend. All of you know I am. I get so carried away with the Spirit of God and what God is saying until I forget to make announcements. But I thank God for people in our church just wanting to help, wanting to minister. And I wouldn't care if a hundred ministries were started in this church. There's room for preachers in this church. There's room for apostles. There's room for prophets. There's room for teachers. There's room for handmaidens of the Lord in this place. To whom it may concern, I'm going to announce it here Wednesday night. Sister Gail has this laid on her heart. Thank God for it. You are invited to a ladies only meeting, sisters, for those, for those who are suffering or have suffered abuse. Sister Gail went through that in her life. She can speak about it. This will be an anonymous meeting, that is, they won't be broadcasters to um, you know, when you come there and ask a request for prayer or a need, where you will be able to talk openly about your problem. There will be refreshments and fellowship, but no gossip. The meetings will be held every Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. She's going to try it every Thursday night. She may go to um, uh, every other Thursday night. She'll see how the Lord leads her. On the first Thursday of each month, I'll have a speaker and uh, there to help. Could be an elder of the church, one of the ministers. The last Thursday of each month, they work on some kind of project, group project that will be helpful to all. Uh, look forward to the rest of the meetings will be primary discussion. Share it. We look forward to seeing you there, Sister Gail. Thank God she has an interest in this. I encourage her in it. I say, Lord, bless her in it. Any sister would like to join her Thursday at uh, 7.30 p.m. We'll announce again. You want to go to the weekend and start 
not this Thursday, but the following Thursday. Let to start this Thursday, all right, then we'll announce it again Wednesday night, and we'll announce it over the weekend. If you know anyone that wants to share, we have a church van that can pick you up if you don't have a way, and if you want to be here at that sister's meeting Thursday at 7.30 p.m., um, Sister Gail will be held in the dining room, right? That's where you're meeting? The meeting in the apartment on the church grounds that's the house on the corner here, 701, and where these three sisters live. We have three sisters living in that one uh, part of the house, Sister Gail, Sister Karen, and uh, now Sister Trini's just come in, and uh, she's moved in this week. We have three sisters there, uh, living there, and their, their lives are in rehabilitation. Uh, they come from different places. They've come from some abuse, and uh, they're here on the church grounds to grow and to be helped. Praise the name of the Lord. That's ministry. That's ministry. So Sister Gail will announce this again. And uh, we, we just want to thank God. I appreciate the tireless hours the musicians have spent here this weekend. And, uh, way hours you spent to cruise on that pen of a lot of hours. And God bless you for your steadfastness and your devotion to it. Sister Marlowe, I don't know how many hours you've led this singing, but there's been a lot of hours. How many hours the praise team has sat here? But a lot of hours. Thank you. Thank you, musicians, for just giving yourself to the Lord. You could be somewhere, there's some young men up here. They could be somewhere else. But they're here, giving themselves to the Lord. Praise God. Uh, that's enough of my speaking. You don't need any more of that. Uh, so let's get ready for a great week in the Lord. And remember, Brother Larry met at the hospital tonight and uh, Sister May Ramsey and asked the Lord to help her Little and Larry. Little Emma. Little Emma? Yes, Sister Tracy, right? Uh, let's remember Little Emma and Tracy uh, Stewart tonight and the family. God will help them. They have me. Oh, yes. And we'll get that. Uh, I think they're all gone now. The patient families have. Uh, but Sister Paul, she's back here. We're the Haitian families. We've had one meeting. And they'll be meeting Friday night at 7 o'clock for their second meeting in the church dining room. Uh, seven, seven o'clock. Yes. They'll be meeting in here. In here, in, in the sanctuary, yeah, because the the Spanish church meets in the, uh, for the Garcia meets in the sanctuary. First Friday of every month. Right. The first Friday of every month is what we've said for the Haitian families to gather together and uh, see where the Lord's leading them, or the Allman back here. He's been one of the elders, and he's been 